Hello everyone, thanks for watching today. I am out in a mixed hardwood and conifer forest looking for a species that I love to find and photograph. And it's a very secretive bird. It is the barred owl. It's one of the more common owls in these woods. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find it. Last year, I was in this area and actually found three different families of barred owls. So there was quite a few owlets around. So today I'm going to try to um, trace my steps from a year ago and see if there are any owlets around. I started hiking through the forest and actually came down to a section where there's a stream going through the forest. Because a lot of times barred owls are associated with flowing water. They, it's, it just creates a nice habitat for them. And this is really a section where there's some really tall trees. And there's a pretty decent undergrowth. And there's a lot of different kind of diversity and structure of the forest. There's some leaning trees, there's some down trees. And along the stream, there's all sorts of shrubs and such, which is a good habitat for their food, which is like mice, voles, squirrels, chipmunks, that sort of thing. So this is where they tend to hang out. And this is actually where I found one of the pairs, one of the families last year. It was a uh, the two parents and it had two owlets as well. So I came back down to this area and we're gonna see if we can find them. I found a, a good spot to sit. This is kind of in the center of the area where I saw them last year. So my plan is to sit here and wait because a good time about this year is when the owlets are still out and dependent on the parents. They will actually still do their begging calls even though they've less, left the nest by now. They'll still do their begging calls which is kind of like a high screechy sound. Almost sounds like a squirrel alarm call. But I'm going to sit here and wait and see if I hear them start to beg anytime soon. So we'll see. The weather is perfect for this. It's a cloudy day, which means that they could be more active throughout the day than if it was a sunny, hot day. So I just need to sit, wait, and hopefully we'll hear some begging calls pretty soon. just heard the baking call. Somewhere in front of me. It's down over towards the stream a little bit more. This is a good sign. I'm going to start making my way that way, really slowly. Awesome. to where I heard the begging calls. But I didn't go that far because I don't really know where they are and I don't want to scare them so I'm just going to take it really slow. Kind of move forward in the direction that I hear them and then pause until I hear them again so that I can kind of know exactly where they are and try to figure out what the best spot is that I can might be able to get a picture of them. Hope I just heard them again.
The owlet's perched almost directly above me on a branch. It's looking away from me. And it was just preening a little bit. So, there doesn't really look like there's any good spot for me to creep in front of it to try to get a front view. So I'm just gonna sit here and I'm hoping that it'll come down a little bit lower and maybe I'll be able to get a better picture of it. But look at this, this is what I got so far. up there alternating between taking naps and preening so she's kind of stretching her wings and, and putting running her beak through her feathers to straighten everything out so really it's just a matter of waiting and hoping that she's gonna come down to a lower perch so I can get some better more clear pictures of her I patiently sat and waited as the owl took a nap on the branch above me. I was hoping that the owl would move down to a lower perch that would be more in the open, allowing me to get a better picture of this beautiful bird. She flew from her perch, and now she's kind of up in the canopy of another birch tree. But she's done short little flights about three different times now, so I'm not too sure if she's gonna end up flying farther away now. So I'm just gonna try to keep an eye on where I last saw her and hopefully she'll end up in a spot that I can actually get some pictures of her. I sat under the outlet for the rest of the afternoon. With thunderstorms rolling in, I decided to quietly make my way out of the forest. While I didn't get any great photos of the owl today, I was happy to be able to locate them so I could head out early the following morning to try to get some more footage. Day two, I'm out looking for the outlets. It's about a half hour after sunrise, so right now all I need to do is pretty much go as quickly as I can and as quietly as I can 
down to the spot where I saw the owlets two days ago to hopefully they'll be in the same general area and I can hopefully see some more activity uh, with the adults possibly feeding the owlets and the owlets maybe a little bit lower so I can get some good pictures so right now I just need to make it that way got about uh, 0.8 miles of a hike to go and let's see what happens I saw the owls two days ago. I'm actually set up pretty much right below where I saw them. And now it's just a matter of sitting quietly and listening, having some coffee, and hopefully I'll hear the begging call of one of the owlets so I can let me know which direction they actually are. In reality, there's actually kind of a slim chance they're going to be in the same area because their home ranges are actually pretty large about 250 hectares or so so we'll see I'm gonna need a little bit of luck to find them again today but let's get some coffee and start that heard the begging call. It's coming from in front of me somewhere. This is perfect. I don't know where it is exactly, but I'm going to put my camouflage on today, try to conceal myself a little bit more, and start making my way over that way. I just hope that they're on my side of the brook. This is exciting. Awesome. right above me somewhere in the top of one of these birch trees. I just can't make out where she is yet. I can hear her. This is awesome. Can't believe she's still in the same spot.
set myself up. I have my stool and everything set up. It looks like the two outlets are just kind of napping up there right now. One is looking away from me and the other one is looking towards me, but it's kind of obscured by some branches. So I'm just gonna sit here, wait, and hopefully the one that's looking away from me will turn around because that'll give me a clear shot of them. But right now it's just a waiting game. Hopefully they'll move um, just a little bit so I can get a clearer shot of them. But so far this is awesome. This is what I got so far.
so they, all three owls just took off and flew. The adult did a couple hoots and then flew off and then both owlets watched where they landed and then flew and followed them and I just circled back around and there the two owlets are perched up in a white pine and they're about 50 yards in front of me now I'm just got to find a spot where I'm going to be able to get some pictures of them I, I looped around so that now the sun should be to my left instead of kind of right behind where the owls are so I'm hoping that'll mean some better pictures but now I just need to find a clear spot where I can actually see them through the through the needles I can see which perch they're on they're about oh I don't know 100 feet or so up off the ground um, hope one just flew they're sticking around the same area so I'm gonna continue looping around and see if I can find them find a good spot to take some pictures I was actually down below the hill, but the trail loops around, so now I'm actually higher than the owl, so I can actually shoot down towards it. There's a lot more branches in my way this way, but it creates a different effect and there's kind of a different angle, so it's always nice to get more than one perspective on an animal. And this adult seems to be very are you willing to let me walk around? Every now and then it, it opens up an eye and checks me out, but it doesn't really seem to mind my presence. That's gonna be it for me today. It was an awesome day, two days really with the owls. I just left the owl perched up in a tree. I walked away from it slowly so that 
It wouldn't feel like it needed to fly away from my presence. It was so relaxed with me. I was up on top of the hill with it. I was photographing down on it, and then I actually moved down a little bit on the hill and got a little bit closer to eye level to it, and it was just still there napping. Um, it was just an amazing experience. It eventually flew a little bit ways into a hemlock, um, and I was able to circle back around and then take one or two more quick pictures of it, and then I decided to leave it alone. I had spent pretty much all day with it at this point, um, and I didn't want to keep disturbing it, even though it, it was very tolerant of my presence. I wanted to leave it alone so that it could get some rest during the day. So hopefully it'll have some successful hunts tonight because it's got two little owlets to feed as well. So whew, such an awesome species to be able to sit with. Owls in general, there's something special about just being able to sit in the forest with an owl not too far away from you and just let them do their thing and just observe them. Especially the owlets, they're so, they're adorable, but they also have these huge talons, so it's amazing to watch them. Whew. It's awesome. So that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to make my way out of here, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.